much for us to see. Dog. Look at him run! Hi everybody! Welcome to the farm! Do you know what one of the best things about living on the farm is? All the beautiful flowers! Megan really likes picking them! She's my best friend in the whole wide world! She keeps some of the flowers in her bedroom and gives them lots of water! And I want to find the brightest, most beautiful flower on the whole farm for Megan. A purple one. Because purple's Megan's favorite color. And you know what? I think I know just the place to find one. Do you want to come help me find a purple flower for Megan? Great! Come on! Let's go! Hi, Mickey. Hello, Mickey. Great! I bet we can find the perfect purple flower for Megan somewhere around here. These flowers smell terrific. This flower sure is pretty, but it's red, not purple. Let's keep looking. This one's big and yellow, just like the sun. Mm-hmm. Aha! Wow! It's perfect. Megan's going to be so happy. Do you hear that? Where is it coming from? There! That's what's making the noise. But what is it? It looks like a fly, but I've never seen one so big before. And it's yellow, with black stripes. And flies don't have stripes, do they? I wonder what it's doing. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it should be bothering the flowers like that. Shoo, big stripey fly thing! Shoo! What should I do? I have an idea! Oh good! My bark scared it away! Hmm... Oh no! It's back! And it's bothering the flowers again! Mickey! That's Megan! She'll know what to do, and Guy and Fiona can help, too. Oh dear, it looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know what was on the flowers? Do you know what it was doing? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Guy. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Megan. I really need your help. There's something bothering all the flowers. I chased it away, but it came right back. How rude. I hope that it doesn't decide to bother the vegetables. 
How was it bothering the flowers, Mickey? It was picking at them and shaking them and flying. Flying? Was it an airplane, Mickey? Fiona, I believe that airplanes are much too big to land on flowers. All right. Never mind. Maybe it was a fly, Mickey. Sometimes flies land on flowers. That's what I thought at first. It did go buzz a lot. But it was awfully funny looking for a fly. Really? Funny looking how? Well, uh, uh, it was bigger than a fly. And it had yellow and black stripes. I've never seen a fly with black and yellow stripes before. Neither have I, Megan. Oh, I wish I knew what it was. Maybe the book can help us out. There it is! Fiona, what on earth are you doing? I'm speaking fly! <laughs> Hi there, I'm Betty, but I'm not a fly. Hi Betty, I'm Mickey. You sure sound like a fly. I'm a honeybee. My wings make a buzz sound when I fly. Betty, why are you bothering all the flowers? Oh, don't worry, Mickey. I'm not bothering the flowers. I'm collecting nectar. Nectar? Honeybees collect something called nectar from flowers. Then we use the nectar to make honey. Yum! I like to eat honey in the morning. It's great on toast. Delicious. Do the flowers mind you taking their nectar, Betty? Not at all. I help the flowers. When I get the nectar, I leave something behind that helps the flowers grow. I was just on my way back to the beehive with this nectar. Come on! Wow! What's that, Betty? It's a honeycomb, Mickey. It's where we make all the delicious honey. Well, Betty, this honey business sounds like an awful lot of work. I'm poop just thinking about it. Not me. Can I help make honey, Betty? Of course, Fiona. You can help by planting lots of flowers on the farm. And then we'll have lots of places to find nectar. Yay! Okay, Betty. The farmer should be coming soon. He collects all the honey we make. Maybe you can all try some later today. I can't wait, Betty. Well, you're all in luck. I think I hear the farmer coming now. Great. See you soon, Betty. See you later. It's really cool that Betty makes honey and helps the flowers grow. I think so too, Mickey. Bees are pretty amazing. They sure are. Hey, let's go pick that big purple flower for you, Megan. Mickey, that is a wonderful idea. And perhaps we could get a few carrots whilst we're at it. Megan, Guy, Fiona and I are very happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting. You know what would be neat If we had a little treat Honey for you Honey for you? Honey for me Honey for me Freshly made by Betty the Honey Bee That would be nice Well the taste is nice and sweet Delicious It's a lot of fun to eat Put it on your toast Maybe on some lettuce Maybe in your tea How about on carrots? It's a gift to us from Betty the Honey Bee
fun learning about bees and nectar and honey. And that honey bees are super duper honey making troopers. I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time. It is another beautiful day on the farm. And here comes Mickey, our new farm dog. Look at him run. Hi everybody, welcome to the farm. Do you know what one of the best things about the farm is? All the big beautiful trees. Tree planting is one of Megan's hobbies. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. Last week, Megan and I planted a little baby tree in the ground. Megan says that someday, it'll grow up to be a big tree, just like the other trees in the forest. Hmm, I wonder if the baby tree has grown any bigger yet. I'm gonna go see. Wanna come? Great, come on, let's go. Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hmm. I know Megan and I planted that baby tree around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Come have a look. Gee, it's still pretty tiny, but someday it'll be big like all the other trees. Do you hear that? Oh, it sounds like it's coming from the forest. Let's check it out. What's making that noise? Could it be a tree? What's that? A bird. What's it doing? It's poking the tree. That's not very nice. Oh no, what if the bird finds the little baby tree? It might hurt it. I have to help it. Hmm. Here I come, little tree. <gasps> the little tree's safe now. But what about all the other trees? I don't have enough blankets to cover them all. Mickey! That's Megan. She'll know what to do. And Guy and Fiona can help too. Oh dear. It looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know what kind of bird Mickey saw? Do you think it was hurting the tree? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, guy. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Megan. I really need your help. There's a bird poking the trees. How rude. Poking's very bad manners, don't you agree? Maybe it was trying to wake up the tree, Mickey. I don't think trees sleep, Fiona. All right. Never mind. Hmm. Birds spend a lot of time in trees, Mickey. I don't know why a bird would want to poke a tree. Me either. But the bird was making a lot of noise. Doing all that poking, it sounded like, um, oh yeah, it sounded like knocking. Knock, knock. Who's there? Why do I have a funny feeling that I know what's coming next? Fiona. Fiona who? Fiona the ferret, sillies. <laughs> Good one, Fiona. Hmm, the forest is filled with lots of different birds. What did the one you saw look like, Mickey? Well, uh, uh, I know. It had a really long, uh, nose. 
Do you mean beak, Mickey? Oh yeah, birds have beaks. Mm-hmm. It had a really long beak. I never saw a bird like that before. I wonder what it was. Maybe the book could help us out. Come in. Fiona, there's nobody knocking on your door. That sound is coming from out here. It's from the book. Oh, right. The book. Hi, everybody. I'm Wanda. Hi, Wanda. I'm Mickey. Nice to meet you, Mickey. Why are you poking at all those trees, Wanda? Oh, I'm not poking them, Mickey. I'm pecking. I'm a woodpecker. Do the trees mind having you pecking at them, Wanda? I don't think so, Mickey. I've been doing this since I was a little bitty baby woodpecker. I'm just looking for food. Oh, I'm very interested in food, Wanda. Do you think I would like any food in that tree? There's lots of bark and leaves. I do believe I will stick to my vegetables. <laughs> Where do you live, Wanda? Right here, in this tree. Do you all want to see my house? Sure. See, I live in this little hole. This tree takes really good care of me. It gives me food and a home. Wow, look at my home, Wanda. Ooh, that's very nice, Fiona. Thanks. Hey, I see a blanket down there. Did anybody lose a blue blanket? Oh, um, that's mine, Wanda. I tried to hide the baby tree Megan and I planted. From me? Yeah. I thought you were just poking all the trees. I didn't know you were looking for food, Wanda. Maybe we should go take the blanket off, Mickey. Trees need sun to grow. I can help. Really? There. Now that little tree can get lots of sun and grow up big and strong. Maybe it'll be a home for a woodpecker someday. It just might, Mickey. Take really good care of it. I will, Wanda. Come and visit me anytime. Okay, Wanda. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm glad the trees are okay, especially the baby tree we planted, Megan. Me too, Mickey. I think we'll have lots of fun helping it grow into a big tree. Why don't we all go plant some more trees? That's a very good idea. Perhaps we could plant some more vegetables whilst we're at it. We could do that too, Guy. Megan, Guy, Fiona and I are really happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting. Woodpecker in the tree. on the farm, and I'm always making lots of new friends. It was so cool to meet a woodpecker. Maybe someday he'll live in the tree Megan and I planted. I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time. There's so much for us to see.
Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, everybody. It is another beautiful day on the farm. And here comes Mickey, our new farm dog. Look at him run. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the farm. Bird, it's cold out. But doesn't all this snow look pretty? Do you like playing in the snow? Megan and I do. You remember Megan, right? She's my best friend in the whole wide world. Yesterday, I saw Megan rolling big snowballs. It looked like fun. Do you want to make a big snowball together? I bet we can make a really big one. Come on, let's go. Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. This looks like a good place to make a big snowball. Let's get started. The snow makes my nose shiver. Aw, oh, gee. Doggy noses are great for sniffing, but not for making snowballs. I need some help. Mm-hmm. Megan can't help. She's at school. Hmm. I wonder who can help me make a big snowball. Hey, look over there. It looks like we have a visitor on the farm. Come on. Hmm. Excuse me. Can you... Wait a minute. That's not a real person. I wonder how it got here. And why is it wearing all those winter clothes? I think those are Megan's mittens. Megan's hands will be really cold without her mittens. I'll get them back for her. Oh, oh no, I can't reach. The scarf and hat, they're Megan's too. She must be really cold without all her winter clothes. Mickey! That's her now. She'll know what to do. And Guy and Fiona can help too. Oh dear, it looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know what Mickey saw near the barn? Do you know why it was wearing Megan's mittens? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Guy. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Megan. I really need your help. I saw something strange near the barn. It was wearing Megan's mittens. Oh, that's rude. But you should always ask permission before taking something that belongs to someone else. But it wasn't a real person. Wasn't real? Then why on earth was it wearing mittens? I don't know. What did it look like, Mickey? Well, it looked a little funny. I think it was made of snow. It looked like an ice cream cone with three scoops. Ice cream? Yummy! Let's go get some! I do believe it's a little cold to be eaten ice cream. It's never too cold for ice cream, Guy. That is very true, Fiona. I would love to have a little bit of ice cream right now. Me too! What about the mittens this snow thing was wearing, Mickey? What color were they? Well, uh, they... They were green! And they had a hole in them! I tried to get them back, but I couldn't reach them! Green mittens with a hole in the finger? Hmm, 
They sound like my old mittens. Do you remember those, Guy? Oh dear, I do remember those green mittens. I thought they were lettuce. <laughs> I tried to eat them. Mittens are not very tasty. <laughs> I have my new purple mittens right here, Mickey. How did your old green mittens end up on that funny looking thing near the barn? Let's see if the book can help us out. to make a big snowball today. I'm not very good at it. Oh, I'm sure if you keep trying, you can make the biggest kind of snowball, Mickey. This is true, Mickey. The more you try something, the better you will be. I am very good at eating vegetables. And I am very good at playing. You're right, guys. I guess I should try to make another snowball. I'll help you, Mickey. Thanks, Megan. Don't forget to wear your mittens, Megan! It's a little chilly today! I'm wearing them now. Very well, Megan! I seem to be having a little trouble with my mittens! Oh well! It's a good thing my fingers are made of sticks! Sorry I tried to take your mittens, Simon. I thought they belonged to Megan. But she has new mittens. How did you get her old green mittens? Megan's dad gave them to me. He gave me this hat, too. He's very good at dressing up snowmen. Do you know what's great about these mittens, Mickey? What? They're great for making snowballs. Catch! Nice catch, Megan. Thanks, Mickey. Well, it was great meeting all of you. I hope you have a terrific winter. Thanks, Simon. Bye. Bye. Why don't we all go make a snowman? That's a great idea, Mickey. All we have to do is make three big snowballs. This is a very good idea. But I, I might need a little help over here. I'm not sure hooves are very good for making snowballs. Don't worry, Guy. We'll all make the snowman together. Fantastic! Yay! Megan, Guy, Fiona, and I are very happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting. snowmen with you. Silly me, I tried to take the snowman's mittens. Maybe you can have some fun making snowmen too. I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time. It is another beautiful day on the farm. And here comes Mickey, our new farm dog. Look at him run. Everybody, welcome 
welcome to the farm. Guess what? I got a new toy. A rubber ducky. It was a present from Megan. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. We play with my rubber ducky down by the pond. Silly me. I forgot it down there earlier today. But now I'm going to go find it. Want to come with me? Great! Come on! Let's go! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Ducks. Now, where's my rubber ducky? There it is. Mm -hmm. If I put the rubber ducky in this river here, he'll float all the way down the river and into the pond. Whoa! What's that? Oh! <gasps> That's strange. Why are all those sticks in the water? <gasps> Look at that! Someone cut this tree down! And look! There's another! So someone's cutting down these trees and putting them in the water. Oh no! But who'd want to do something like that? Did you see that? Mickey! That's Megan! She'll know what to do. And Guy and Fiona can help too. Dear, it looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know why those trees are in the river? Do you know how they got there? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hi, Mickey. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Megan. I really need your help. Someone is cutting down the trees and putting them in the river. A monkey. Monkeys like playing with trees. <laughs> That's true, Fiona. But I don't think a monkey would want to cut them down and put them in a river. All right. Never mind. Hello, everyone. Hi, Guy. Where are you coming from? The vegetable garden? No, no. Not today, Mickey. I went to the river for a drink of water. I was very thirsty after my lunch. Now I seem to be hungry again. <laughs> did you see all the trees in the river, Guy? I did see some trees. And I saw an animal playing with your rubber ducky. What did it look like, Guy? It was brown. It had big teeth and a very big tail. I saw a big tail, too. Um, I... I've never seen one like it before. It was flat. Oh, yes, it was quite flat. It reminded me of a paddle. What could it be? I'm not sure. Maybe the book could help us out. That's the tail I saw! Guy, is that the same animal you saw? I believe so. 
It looks like it's cutting down another tree. Oh no! It's a tree monster! It's... it's... A cute furry animal! Hi! Hi there! I'm Bruno! I'm a beaver! Hi Bruno! I'm Mickey! I'm a dog! Why are you cutting down all the trees? Hi Mickey! I'm building my house! Check out my house, Bruno! Very nice house, Fiona! But I build mine in the river! A house in a river? How can this be? It would be a very wet house! Lots of different animals live in the river, Guy! Like whales! <laughs> Fiona, I do believe whales are too big to live in rivers. Oh, right! They live in the sea. Never mind! I don't recall seeing a whale in the river, but I have seen lots of fish and ducks. Ducks? I left my rubber ducky at the river. Guy said he saw you playing with it, Bruno. Rubber ducky? Oh, right! I was playing with it. I think I left it in my house. Hang on a minute. Those are the trees I saw in the river. I used them to build my house. Here's your rubber ducky. Cat. Good catch. Thanks, Fiona. Thanks, Bruno. It was really nice meeting you. You too. Come visit me anytime and bring your wubba ducky. Sure. We can play with it together, Bruno. Mm-hmm. Great. See you later. Bye. Wow. Bruno is so cool. Beavers are pretty amazing, Mickey. Why don't we all go play with my rubber ducky down by the pond? Maybe we'll see Bruno again. I'll bring my whale. Whale? Fiona, I believe we have decided that whales are too big for rivers. It's a rubber whale, guy. Like Mickey's ducky. Oh, that's very clever. Megan, Guy, Fiona, and I are very happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting! Beaver Dam! <laughs> Everybody! B E A V E R D A M! Beaver Dam! All right! We're building a beaver dam! Beaver dam! Beaver dam! Beaver dam! trees were cut down. But now I know that Bruno cut them down to build his house in the river. How cool! I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time! There's so much for us to see. It is another beautiful day on the farm. 
And here comes Mickey, our new farm dog. Look at him run. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the farm. It's winter on the farm, and we've had lots and lots of snow. Megan says it looks like a big winter wonderland. Do you have snow where you live? Do you like to play in it? Megan and I sure do. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. There are so many fun things to do in the snow, but who can we play with? Hmm. Maybe the ducks want to play in the snow. They're a lot of fun. Do you want to come and play with the ducks? Great! Come on, let's go! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Gee, it's pretty quiet around here. That's funny. Where are all the ducks? Hmm. Usually lots of ducks are swimming in the pond. Quack, 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 quack. Hmm. I wonder what all the ducks are doing. Hmm. I know. I bet they're playing hide and seek. Why don't we try to find them? Come on! Here, ducks! Come out, come out wherever you are! That's strange. The ducks aren't here. Oh. Maybe they're all the way on the other side of the pond. Do you see the ducks? Maybe I should swim over there and see. Wait a minute! The pond is all covered in ice! Oh! I can't swim in there! And the ducks can't swim in that pond either! Oh no! The ducks must have left the farm because their pond is all frozen! What if they never come back? Oh! Mickey! That's Megan! She'll know what to do, and Guy and Fiona can help too. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. Oh, dear. It looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know why the ducks are gone? Do you think the ducks will ever come back to the farm? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hi, Mickey! Hi, Megan! Hi, Fiona. I really need your help. I went to the pond to play with the ducks, but they're all gone. Were they playing hide and seek, Mickey? That's what I thought, Fiona. But when I looked for them, I couldn't find them anywhere. Hello, Mickey. Hi, Guy. I am very happy. I've just come from the barn. There are plenty of vegetables in there for the winter. Did you see any ducks in the barn, Guy? Ducks? Why on earth would the ducks be in the barn? They belong in the pond. They disappeared! Presto! Gone! I'm not so sure they disappeared, Fiona. They might just be gone somewhere else. One moment while I chew this over. I do remember seeing some ducks flying away. Uh. Flying away? Oh no! What if the ducks never come back? I don't want to lose my little duck friends. You've still got us, Mickey. We're your friends. Mm-hmm. I know, Fiona. 
You're the best friends in the whole wide world. But I really hope the ducks come back. What did the pond look like, Mickey? Well, um, it's... It was completely covered in ice. I was going to swim out and find the ducks, but then I saw all the ice. Oh, the pond was frozen. Do you think the ducks left because the pond is frozen, Megan? Maybe, Mickey. Let's see if the book can help us out. Look! The ducks! Hi! I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. I'm Mickey. How's everything back on the farm, everybody? Oh, well, fantastic! There's plenty of vegetables in the barn for the winter. Winter time, winter time, la 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 la! Fiona, what are you doing? Singing! I love winter! <laughs> well, it sounds like everybody is having a wonderful winter! <laughs> Too bad we couldn't stick around! Why did you and all the other ducks leave the farm, Danny? Is it because the pond is frozen? That's right, Mickey. Where are you flying, Danny? We have to go find a new pond, Fiona. One that's not frozen. Will you ever come back? <laughs> of course, Mickey. We're just leaving for the winter. We do it every year. Really? Sure. In the winter we leave, and in the spring we come back. And don't worry, winter will be over before you know it. Then we can all play together again. That'll be great, Danny. Oh, there's our new home. Ah, that's better. We'll see you again when the winter is over. Well, all that flying has made me hungry. I think we better find some food. Quack really loud when you get back, Danny, so that I'll know when you're on the farm again. I promise, Mickey. See you in the spring. <laughs> Bye, Danny. I'm sure glad the ducks will be back. Just as soon as the pond melts. I hope we don't have to wait for it to melt to have some fun. I don't think so, Mickey. Can I come? Of course you can. We can all go. A little walk in the snow will be lots of fun. Come on. Just a moment, please. I think I will just take a snack. Megan, Guy, Fiona, and I are very happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting. the ducks have a new home for the winter. That frozen pond was pretty cold, but the ducks look all snuggly and warm in their new summer pond. I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time. It is another beautiful day on the farm. And here comes Mickey, our new farm dog. Look at him run. Hi everybody, welcome to the farm. Are you ready to have some fun? It's so sunny and warm on the farm today. And on days like this, all the birds come out to sing. The robin is my favorite singing bird. 
And do you know who is also a very good singer? Megan! She's my best friend in the whole wide world. I've been working on my singing too. Wanna hear? Hmm, I don't sound much like a robin, do I? But I'd sure like to. Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna go find a robin and it can teach me how to sing. It'll be great. Want to come along? Great, come on, let's go. Hi, Mickey. Hello, Mickey. Welcome to the forest, everybody. It's one of my favorite places. Wow! Listen to him sing. I want to sing like that, too. Hmm. Maybe I would sound more like a robin if I looked like one. I borrowed one of Megan's red bandanas. Now the front of me is red, just like the robin. Now it's time to sing like one. Hmm. Nope. I definitely still don't sound like a robin. Hmm. What else can I try? Maybe to sing like a bird, I should eat like a bird. Birds look for food on the ground. Let's give that a try. Hmm? Let's see. What do we have here? Ew! This is kind of gross. <laughs> and it's definitely not helping me sing better. Mickey! That's Megan. Maybe she can help me sing like a robin. And Guy and Fiona can help, too. Oh, dear. It looks like Mickey has gotten himself in another tangle. Do you know why Mickey can't sing like a robin? Do you think acting like a robin will help Mickey sing like one? Luckily for Mickey, Megan, his best friend in the whole wide world, is just getting home from school. And if anyone can help him sort things out, she can. Mickey! Hello, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Guy. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Megan. My, oh my, Mickey. May I say you look smashing in that red bandana. I think so too, Mickey. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've got some mud in your face there, buddy. Oh, yeah. I was trying to eat like a robin. Oh, why were you trying to do that, Mickey? Because I want to sing like one. Try eating some cabbage instead, Mickey. It helps my voice beautifully. La di la, la di la di la. And ferret food is good for dancing. <laughs> Why do you think eating mud will help you sing like a robin, Mickey? Well, um, I, I wanted to learn to sing like a robin, so I can sing you a pretty song, Megan. So I tried to eat just like a robin does and they eat their food off the ground. And I tried to look like a robin too. Oh, that must be why you're wearing a red bandana, to look like a red robin. Right, but none of it worked. Oh, Mickey, I already love hearing you sing, and I think only a robin can sound like a robin. Really? Sure, 
different animals have their own different sounds. Yes, indeed. Here is a goat sound. And here's a ferret sound. Moo! Moo? Fiona, I believe that is the sound that a cow makes. All right! Never mind! So does this mean that I'll never be able to sing like a robin? Maybe the book can help us out. There's the robin I heard sing earlier today. Hi, everybody. I'm Reginald. Hi, Reginald. I'm Mickey. You're a really good singer. Thanks. I like listening to you sing today, too, Mickey. Really? But I was just trying to sing like you, Reginald. And I don't think I did a very good job. You have a lovely bark, Mickey. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be sad that you can't sing like me. Only other robins can sing like me. Just like only other dogs can bark like you. I don't think anybody can dance like me. I think you're right, Fiona. And no one can eat vegetables like Guy. Well, thank you, Fiona. That is very kind. Hey, Reginald and Mickey, why don't you guys try singing together? That's a great idea. Sure, Megan. You start, Reginald. <coughs> la 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 I hope we can hear you sing again soon. And I hope I can hear you sing again soon too, Mickey. Bye for now. Bye, Reginald! Reginald really does have a pretty voice, but I guess I have a pretty good bark, too! You sure do, Mickey. And maybe I'll never be able to sing like a robin, but I'll always be able to bark like Mickey! And I'll always be able to dance like Fiona! And I'll always eat vegetables like Guy. Mm-hmm! And nobody has a voice as pretty as yours, Megan. Thanks, Mickey. Speaking of songs... Megan, Guy, Fiona, and I are really happy you could join us today. Thanks for visiting! like a robin by looking and eating like a robin. Silly me. But it's okay that I can't sing like a robin because I can sing like a dog. I hope you can come and visit us again soon. See you next time. <laughs>